ask me anything by Brainology. Hello, children. How are you? Welcome once again to Ask Me Anything. Today's session, as and no prizes for guessing what this is about, we are going to hear about designing cars. This actually was the first car that I bought when I was a kid. Today, we have got someone very special who actually makes these cars. And today, he's going to tell us about how you design cars. He's going to take us into the design studio of this beautiful company called Tata Motors. So children, with warm welcome and a big round of applause, I welcome on Mr. Pratap Bose. Hi, hi, hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome on board. We are glad to have you. It's a privilege, it's an honor. Thank you very much. So the first and foremost, let me dive right into the topic, Mr. Bo. How did you become a car designer? When I was maybe eight or nine years old, I started drawing cars as well, not just playing with them. And then, of course, I got into uh, into Lego and, oh. uh, and started making them as well to see how they come together, how they work what moves and how the doors open. So a lot of observation and you know, it all took off from there. So children, the first lesson I think we should take from Mr. Bose is that you should be very observant, right? I think that's a very big lesson. Naman is asking actually, which is your favorite car, Mr. Bose? So my favorite car, Naman, would have to be something that uh, me and the team have designed. One of the first cars I designed in Tata Motors was a car called Pixel. Uh, that remains my favorite because it's a very, very imaginative, future-looking, funky car. How do you study for design? Yeah, so when I did my research, you know, there were only two colleges in India which were offering design. One was in Bombay itself called IIT Bombay. And the second one was uh, National Institute of Design, NID, in Ahmedabad. And I chose to go to NID because between the two schools, that was the one which had an undergraduate program. That means after 12th grade. Of course, I sat for a, a national exam in those days. There were very few people who could go there. They would admit, I think, 30 people every year. And and I was lucky enough to get into that college. Then I chose to, to study car design there. I think Arhan was asking a question. What is the right age for kids to start car designing? If you want to study car design, then I think, you know, from your ninth or 10th grade, you should start thinking seriously about design in the first place. And car design is a specialization you should do after. But tell me, sir, you know, you think of design and you think of these computer sketches and this thing. It's, is it very tough? Is it design that complex or how, how do you go about it? You know, the design is, is always about uh, getting the basics right. Uh, if you are strong in your basics in any field, uh, you can actually actually make it look easy. Okay. Uh, but to get to that point, you have to work very hard. Very hard. It's a okay. lot. This is straight from the Tata Motors design studio. So this is how the sketches started. So Mr. Bose, if you can just take us through this journey, you know. You know, the language of a designer uh, is actually through drawing first. Uh, to, to convert, uh, you know, what you have in your mind into a piece of paper so that you can share it with, with others who work in your team. And these are some of the sketches that uh, you know, my design team came up with after I briefed them on this project. So you can see uh, the designers make, so they start with a pencil and then, you know, just make simple black and white sketches. You know, the, the pencil sketches are done very quickly and we make hundreds of them. And then as you see towards the right, you know, they start putting some color, they give the body some shape and, you know, then the car looks and feels more and more uh, defined and designed. So there's a question from Pranav. He's asking, what inspiration do you get for your design? How do you know what design to make? How do you, you know, sort of think about, you know, what, how to make it look cool? Each designer will have a different inspiration. You know, some will be inspired by animals. Some are inspired by things like planes. And these are the things that, that actually can give you inspiration. If you see the shape, you know, how the canopy is or the silhouette, the start point is always some sort of inspiration. And then from there, uh, you know, we take it ahead. How much time does it take from actually designing something and then taking it to the showroom? When we finish designing, that means when we get a sign off on the clay, from that point to the car reaching the showrooms is, is about two years. And till that point is about two years as well. So, you know, the whole process from the sketch on paper to the car in the showroom is around four years. Uh, wow. So you have to be also very patient in this whole process, uh, kids. You know, this doesn't come easy. You have to dedicate four years of your life to a, a project like this. 
Now, Pixel is a car for the future. So, do tell us about this. We wanted to make, first of all, an electric car. You know, for the future, we think the future is electric because it's much cleaner as, as a product. There's no emissions, as you know. Then the second was that it had to be a very small city car. Parking in that situation where the parking was very tight, uh, it made it easy. So you have to create an overall system which people can, can really understand and, and like. You know? And oh. Pixel is one of that vision. Let's say in design thinking, when you design for a truck versus let's say when you design for a Pixel kind of a vehicle. So the, the considerations for the truck is, is slightly different from cars. But yes, both have to be designed using exactly the same process. So again, we make lots of sketches, we make a model. So a truck has different design considerations, but the process we follow is the same. The design is not just cool sketches. It is where it is also thinking about how they will use it and not only how they will use it now, but how they will use it eight years down the line, right? And that yeah. is where you have to have very sharp thinking. And that's the kind of thinking Mr. Ghost does of, you know, thinking about the future and designing products for the future. I had never associated Tata Motors into racing. So what is Tata Motors and what is Tamo all about? Race more all about? So we thought, how about a car which you can race in a game and which you can also drive on the street? You know, so we wanted to really have this 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 car which lives in this digital world but also lives in the in the real world. And uh, we designed this cool car called the, the Race Mo. Um, we designed it in a, in a completely different way. It has an all plastic structure, very light, but very strong. Here again, we work with our engineers to, to, to develop the structure of the car because racing cars need a structure which is very different from a normal passenger car. Um, and we did that with this uh, using this plastic material, which were all joined and glued together uh, using a special adhesive. So there was a brand new process that our engineers developed just to uh, make this car happen. So you would have a digital version that you could race on GT3 or Gran Turismo or whatever. And you could also have a real version of the car in your, in your garage, which you could drive on the streets. So that was the basic yes, idea for race mode. Let's look at this cool video that you sent us about the yeah. race mode. car lives in two worlds, the digital world and the real world. Pranav is asking this question, based on what do you design the structure of the car? And I think there is your answer, right? If it has got to be racing, that, you know, the structure is very different yeah. versus... So could you tell us a little more about, you know, how that structure design is, how do you decide on 
how do you put what structure to which car? Yeah, so, you know, we have to obviously, a race car is designed for lightness, but strength. So we have plastic panels and in between there's a, there's a honeycomb structure. Honeycomb is, if you can imagine all these. Yeah, it's right behind you, right behind you, there's a honeycomb structure. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So it's a, it's a honeycomb structure, which is very light, but very strong. And these are sandwiched between two plastic sheets and then we mold it and we join the cars together. So the race mower has only nine big components, only nine parts. It's a big, it's funny because it's a bit like this, this Lego, uh, you know, and this is what I was saying, you know, everything that you do in your childhood somehow comes back to you in in a profession that you choose uh, in some way. Now Arya saying that, sir, I think you should add a spoiler to, you know, that car which will add to its downforce. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Arya's right. Uh, a spoiler is nothing but a wing in reverse. So uh, a wing actually gives you lift, but a spoiler actually uh, gives you downforce. So it keeps the car on the ground. So it's it's literally the same thing, but in opposite uh, direction. Wow, that was, I never thought of it. That, that's a very nice and simple way you've described that it's just a wing, but in reverse. Oh, Upside I never down. Thought of it. That's, that's very nice. Yeah. That's very nice. Priyanshi is asking, how do you ensure such tall trucks do not roll over? While they're tall, they're not top heavy. The engine, which is the heaviest component of the truck, is actually placed very low. Uh, and therefore, the center of gravity of the truck is very, very low. Uh, and the engine, like I said, you know, can weigh uh, in itself almost 200 kilos so that's this weight which is sitting at the bottom of the truck the rest of it is is a is a cabin you know so while yes the trucks are tall the center of gravity as you you would have learned in physics uh, the lower it is the better it is so we we work very hard again with our engineers to put all the heaviest components of a truck very low in the truck so even the fuel tank which can take uh, 300 liters of fuel that itself is you know 160 170 kilos of weight plus the engine so everything you'll see on a truck the heaviest parts are always low to keep the cg center of gravity low yeah. Tanmay is asking, the truck looks so luxurious, they are very interesting. But if you have to design to make cheap stuff, is there any different thinking to that? Well, cheap is actually, you know, cheap also comes at a price, Tanmay. Uh, Today, we we want to ensure that you and your family are always safe. So we we make actually the safest cars in India. All our cars, they have five-star safety. That means if you unfortunately are in a crash, it's... A Tata car is uh, one of the safest places to be, funnily enough. And, uh, you know, we have to therefore use airbags. We have to use a structure which can take the impact. So, you know, making a cheap car comes at a, at a price which we don't want to pay. Having said that, of course, most of our cars are very, very affordable. There's a difference between cheap and affordable. So if you look at our, our lovely Tiago or the Nexon or the Altros, these are very, very affordable yes. cars. Very value, very, very high value cars, yeah. Correct. But they're Very safe. Yes, sir, Anirudh is saying, I am an eight-year-old, sir. How do I start designing cars? And not only him, but many other children are also asking some tricks, some tips on how can I start, you know, looking at car designing. If I'm so what I would say to, to Anirudh and all the kids uh, is uh, if you have a matchbox car or a dinky car, so I would say always start with, with the side view of a car. That's really very, very important. And while it may seem easy, it's actually not. But that would be the right place to start. Draw exactly what you see. And then after that, try to draw what you don't see and try to draw from your imagination. So start with real and then get into imagination. Uh, you know, Arya actually says that, sir, I think I keep having trouble with the wheels. I can draw good designs, but when it comes to wheels, I suffer with the designing of wheels. Can you help me with that? So Arya, you are probably not drawing in side view because in side view, always the wheel is a circle. In any other view, the wheel becomes an ellipse, which is very hard to draw if you don't really train for it. So that would be my recommendation. You have in a side view, only two circles to draw, which are the two wheels uh, Take it from there. Sir, Naman is asking, he wants to know more about the Tata Sierra 
concept car which was showed in the auto expo this year yeah naman as you know the sierra was a was one of our legendary cars which we had about 20 years ago we stopped making the sierra uh, around 15 years ago one of those cars which is uh, an icon so we wanted to recreate that icon but for a new age the old sierra had a big uh, diesel engine the new one we did with a battery power train electric power train the old one was had this beautiful window on the side so we brought that back so we always wanted to think about the the original car but bring it to the new age and the new future uh, that's ahead of us so nikhil is asking sir how what is the software you use uh, to you know design the cars is there a specific particular type of software can they learn it can they do a course on it to start learning from it even now and he's in and he's in class 9 i think yeah so nikhil the best software is the one between your ears it's called your brain please use your <laughs> your mind your imagination all of that and a pencil as you really get good with drawing and imagination there's one software i would recommend to you it's called procreate it's on the ipad you can use that the apple pencil to draw it's a very very good software it's very simple to use it's called procreate i think sir there's one more question from vanishka she is asking which is the first car you ever had the first car i got was uh, car called the Fiat Punto the Fiat Punto i bought that because uh, it was designed by you know one of my heroes uh, a person called Giorgio Giugiaro question i think pranav is asking uh, sir does the knowledge of mechanics help you in the design of cars yeah pranav a general knowledge is important because you you need to know how things work but you don't have to actually engineer them yourselves Th- those my colleagues in engineering do So there's a question from Maria Saifi who is asking sir how does the horsepower of a car affect the design of a car usually the larger the the engine the more the horsepower or the other way around the more the horsepower the larger the engine and the uh, bigger the bigger the engine gets the heavier it gets of course like i said the size increases you need to cool it in a different way because it's a bigger engine so produces more heat so you have to cool it you'll see in sports cars mm. or cars which are you know very powerful you see the the front part of that car is designed in a certain way to allow a lot of air to come in as opposed to a electric car which doesn't need cooling so electric car like a tesla for example has no grill at all in the front so horsepower affects the car in these ways one has asked the question how did you decide the name and i think the general question i think many people have asked is how do you design a suitable name for a car i mean how is this process done oh cool so pixel we did because you know the pixel is uh, the smallest digital particle you know you you talk about pixels on a screen on a camera and when we designed this car we wanted to be re- we wanted it to be really small but also to have a digital connection you know because you saw how the doors open the ipad all of that so we chose the smallest digital particle basically to, to for its name uh, i'll give you one example of tiago which is very interesting so when we first introduced the tiago it was called zika uh-huh. and at that time in 2016 there was a zika virus ah, correct, in, in correct. brazil yes and uh, you know we had put the name on the car we had made the badges the stickers all the the advertising publicity material everything said zika Mm-hmm. and then the um, you know virus hit and it was affecting small children and uh, we didn't want uh, you know to name a car which had this sort of uh, consequence so what we did was we had a contest we opened it up to people and we said you know we want to rename the zika what do you want to call it and we got thousands of entries and we chose tiago and tiago was also the name of lionel messi's son oh. uh, so it worked very well for us and it's one of our most memorable names so and that came from people like you so mr boss once again from granology side from my side you want to thank you for your time i think it was a really interesting session i'm yeah, children aside i myself learned a lot during this journey <laughs> you've been an inspiration and i'm sure you would have inspired many budding new designers to start you know going and looking at it thank you so I much i hope thank you and um, it's such a pleasure to to have been on this you know platform with you and also with with so many kids and i'm seeing all the thank yous and that's really really uh, why i do things like this it feels amazing that you know you're able to to discuss and to hopefully inspire a few car designers girls and boys uh, you know from this group who who participated today 
Hello, I hoped you liked this edition of Ask Me Anything. If you did, do show your love by pressing this like button over here. And if you have any comments and want to give us any feedback, press on this comment button and express your opinion. And if you absolutely love us and want to know when is our next edition of Ask Me Anything, press the subscribe button. And till then, keep thinking of questions so that you can ask me anything.